I would say the furry fandom is one of the few places left where you can actually make a really good living as an independent artist. I mean, like you, you see people coming in, you know, like from a graphics design background or from just, you know, like a traditional arts background, moving into kind of a um, commission-based economy, I think is the best way to put it. And it, it, it's really interesting too, because, you know, like a lot of the, um, well, a lot of the consumers um, uh, in the furry fandom tend to be um, kind of guys a lot of the artists and commerce is run by women. So a lot of the creators are out there, you know, like a lot of the creators that are out there are women. So, you know, like you see things like fursuits, for example, almost every fursuit manufacturer is a gal and they are putting together these costumes that I'm sure, I'm sure you all have seen, you know, it's the $3,000 animal costume, right? 